Good morning, everybody. We're taking a look at the weekly sterling chart. Now, you can see last week what we did. We came down to this area here. We just blipped below it. But if you sit back, you can see, really, we have in place a double base in sterling. Now, we are long of sterling. It's been a bit of a hairy ride. But I have every faith at the moment that that is the correct way to be. I think we go back and we test up in this zone here first, then this, then this. Now, if you take a measured target of a chart pattern, how we would do this is we take the high point to the low point, okay? That is 940 pips. Now, what usually happens with technical trading is that the technical trader will buy a break of this and project 944 points up. How you can get away with doing that, what I always do is I preempt. I go, okay, around that area here, we want to be a buyer because the probability of that trade going into the right direction for you is you know very very good so you can preempt these technical moves sometimes you have to close your eyes and cling by your little fingertips but frankly if you believe in what you're doing and you believe in the charts which obviously anybody that's known me for 38 years knows that, that is what I do and the other thing is it's very contrarian because if you look the week before and the week before that, all you were hearing is the news coming out, going, Sterling's going down the toilet. What I must get through more than anything else, I feel, is that ignore it. Ignore all this constant news about Sterling. Because all it is doing, it's getting you in a chop noise situation and if you sit back and you look at your longer term charts you can actually see what the market is going to do now obviously if we'd have broken 124 well for a start i would have put on this line here let me just show you And if you see that, just by putting on a little carol line, you do get to um, you do get to see that you would have gone down towards this area here, okay? Which on oh, my little chart is around about one twenty-two and a half. However, this thing is a total a gift from the good Lord above, and. It's every technical trader's dreams. Double tops, double bottoms on a weekly chart. Now, there's 940 points differential between the top here and the base here. What I've done, I think we can go up and test here quite easily. Obviously, we have to break through 126.40. We have to, and as that is happens to be, the nine week moving average. Okay, so we need to break that. We need to break that little trend line. We need to break this, 127.20, and then we can head for this area here. Now, although I think we're good on sterling, and the projected target is actually 143.40, if you look at how long the pattern is has taken to make, you can actually give a guide to when it will actually get to the target area. So this has taken from here, December 18, July 19. So we're talking about eight months. So we should start seeing a good rally for the next four months. 
Now, although technical trader, traders would buy a break of the double bottom trend area here, you can preempt it. I don't care if it goes to here. You know, I will be selling, buying back, selling, buying back, selling, buying back. Above here is too far in the future for me today. And it's too hot. And it's a Monday morning. So let's now quickly take a look at the daily chart. Now there are two ways to play it. You can see by looking at the daily chart and putting it up against the weekly that the chart pattern wasn't there. This is why it is imperative you look at these longer term charts. But look, when the market had its fall, bing, 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 and that day there, the 9th of July, you can see that the whole market thought sterling was going back to the flash crash area of 119 and a half. It didn't. Now, the thing to know is once it didn't go below here the next day and then did break up the following day, close low, but Friday, we saw quite a good strong day. You can see where this little pattern here alerted you to the fact that the market was going higher. I have to be completely honest with you. I was long higher than the market. I actually went long around here. So I had to wear this, but I knew that where my stop level would be and where I was not comfortable with holding a long position anymore. Now, if you use, well, I say use what I say, but if you use the charts as they are meant to be used, please believe me, you will get the hang of it. Now, I'm going to put on a quick Fibonacci. I need a little baby one. And you can see here, we are struggling at the 38.2. But if we can break above, no reason we can't. There is no reason why we cannot go back and head for this area up here, the 61.8 to the 78.6. They're not levels pulled out of your mind. Look across, you can see there's a lot of what was support that will now act as resistance. I really hope this has been helpful and I will catch you all later on during the day.